Hi, I'm Peter, the designer of the Range Accepts. Um, today I'm going to show you how to prepare your Range Accepts 3 before takeoff. Open the back compartment where you will find the Perm Air 2.0 valve. There are three ways to inflate your Perm Air system on the Range Accepts 3. By using the inflation bag, by using the mouthpiece, which is a with a filter against the moisture and at the additional product with the perm air pump. So the mouthpiece is connected here in the upper corner and is also working at the backup if you just forgot your inflation back. In the lower area you will find the perm air valve. So open the perm air valve and before you inflate the perm air make sure you get a sound like a click. Place the harness on the ground with the valve bottom side. Afterwards you can connect the snoozle of the inflation bag. Make sure the snoozle is not twisted and straight. Afterwards you can fill the inflation bag, close the roll top and start to fill the permeable. So you get a resistance and you immediately know it's full. Afterwards you can release the snoozle and because of the check valve the air stays into the permeable. Afterwards just close the valve. Pro tip, you can roll up the inflation bag till the printing. Just close and open the nose part. You can put the valve through the hole, put the inflation bag inside. Close the zipper and inflate the inflation bag again by mouth. Close the hole with your finger and close the gray plug. Afterwards you can store the snoozle into the hole. So this will increase aerodynamic and keep the shape good as possible in the nose part. There is a color coding blue and red red to red and blue to blue also through the frame blood buckle. Next step is the small plastic ball here marked with the A is connecting with the B. I always connect the ball facing bottom side so you get a smooth surface while the up layer is on top. You can pull out the black line here, marked with the one, is going through number two and closed with the fallout safety number three. That's it. During the flight, you have the possibility to adjust your shoulder strap and your back strap. While sitting in the harness simulator you also can check in the length of your lumbar support. Here you can adjust the lumbar support also by moving the nut steps. And tight support. You also have the chance to move one, two, three positions to adjust the line lengths and keep more or less supports to your legs. You can adjust the length of the cocoon by moving the line on the line of the knot step. So you have one, two, three positions to adjust the line. So the Range XALPS is equipped with a two-step speed system and you can easily adjust the second step and the first step by moving to the next knot. Without the lower stabilizer, the towing point can move slightly um, while doing weight shifting. So the feeling of the harness 
is more dynamic. You can loop the line bottom side and connect it top side with the riser link here. Close the screw and use the plastic clip. And now you're ready. So with the installation of the stabilizer, the characteristic of the harness is even more damped. So when you are doing the weight shift, the lower stabilizer will keep the towing point in position.